workers hurt battling a large blaze. Plus, hear from a man who escaped those flames. And a raid by U.S. Special Forces ends in death by suicide for the leader of ISIS. We made it through the rain, but there's another midweek storm coming. I'll have the effect it could have on your family's trick-or-treat plans. Breaking news alerts, tonight's top stories, and weather before the first commercial. This is Local 12 News at 11. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dwayne Pullman. And I'm Megan Mangello. Earth-shaking news out of Washington tonight. That's right. The world's most wanted terrorist, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, the head of ISIS, is dead. He blew himself up after an elite team of U.S. forces stormed his compound in Syria, chasing him into a tunnel. Sinclair correspondent James Rosen has the latest from the nation's capital. Greetings from the nation's capital, where the killing of Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi represents one of the most important national security achievements of this decade and, for a president buffeted by the winds of impeachment, a critical victory in a season of discontent. It was